Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the last review of Bad and Crazy. Now, I know my reviews for this drama hasn't been very consistent. I apologize for that. So, the last episode, it was good. I love the action scenes. I love the comedy. I love K. He is such a gem. Um, he is definitely one of my favorite characters in a K drama. He's part of my top 10 list now. After watching the episode, it makes you appreciate the type of villain that they had. Uh, he didn't need money. He didn't need weapons. He has a psychological weapon where he can influence his patients to be killers, which is terrifying. But here's the thing. He wasn't the only villain. They had two other villains. And this leads to the downside, which I will talk about later on in this video. So let's get to it. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, before I begin the review, I just want to say this. Thank you so much for enjoying my videos. Don't forget to like my videos comment down below and overall do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss any new videos i upload pretty much every day so the entire finale was just trying to take down juyok or yuno i should say so first at the beginning of the episode suyo tries to escape the prison and what what was so funny is that each scene was him trying to get further and further to the exit but towards the end he does get caught every single time Eventually, he does escape by blackmailing one of the doctors. He goes to Gunsu's office, smacks him for not being at his testimony. Later on in the episode, Gunsu does get stabbed by Juyok, and we find out that Juyok installed a camera in his office to see what type of treatment that Suyo was getting. And if you think that was crazy enough, it gets crazier. The next scene, we see Jungun, who's with Juyok, but he's only with them to record their conversation. This is all Suyo's plan, to find a weakness to take him down. And that weakness is revealing his identity. But the problem is, the dude ain't got no fingerprints. If you think that was crazy enough, the fact that they have a villain who has no fingerprints, he used Suyo's mom against him, all because he wanted Suyo to admit that Yuno saved him by killing his dad. Now, Juyok and Suyo do meet up at their former home, which was set on fire. K tells Suyo, the one thing you need right now is to trust yourself. Then we hear Jungun trapped. He's calling for help. Suyo tries to save him, but then Juyok stabs Suyo in the neck with a syringe, and then he stabs him in the gut and then leaves. Later, Suyo does get the strength to save Jungun and take him to safety, and then he goes after Juyok where these two fight. Here's the thing that surprised me. Juyok wasn't only using psychological, I guess, power, I should say, to, to manipulate his patients, but he's also in great shape. So not only he's strong mentally, but physically as well. But eventually Suyo does beat him. Well, I should say K. And now the aftermath, we see Suyo saying goodbye to K. I like this scene. It's like two brothers right here, e even though they're the same person, but I couldn't help but think that these two are brothers, they went through a lot, and they did. And I couldn't help but smile throughout the entire thing. So these two say goodbye as K was disappearing. Suyo went after him, and then we see him waking up in the hospital in front of his teammates. And we find out that they have enough evidence to not only clear Suyo's name, but also send Juyok to prison. Yeah, but then Juyok's story doesn't end there. It ended in the bathroom by being attacked by the boss lady. So she was in the bathroom, she took out the guard, strangled Juyok, and bites him on the neck like a zombie. This is where I'm disappointed for Andre and the boss lady. All of the focus were on them as the villains for probably the majority of the drama, until they shifted to Yuno. Boss lady and Andre had so much potential, and they did, to be the main villains. And also, what was the point of Andre and the boss lady in the drama in the first place if they were just going to switch villains? Now it's one year later, Suyo is going after some dirty cops, and the way the drama ended was actually pretty awesome. He actually fly kicks the commissioner, similar to what K did to Assemblyman Dole. I forgot which episode it was, but that was one awesome moment. So my thoughts on the drama, I liked it. From beginning to end, I was entertained, it was funny, it was action-packed. I love K. <laughs> Again, he is such a gem. I love his dynamic duo relationship with Suyo, and I like the romance relationship between Suyo and Egon. I do like that the boss lady got her revenge on Juyok, uh, but man, her and Andre had so much potential to be amazing villains, but the fact that they were so underutilized and pushed to the side was just very disappointing. And 
that's probably my only downside for the drama. Even though I was disappointed with Andre and Boss Lady being pushed to the side, I can't help but appreciate the type of villain Yuno was in this drama. The fact that he was a therapist who can manipulate his patients to becoming killers, which is terrifying. And it proves that he doesn't need money to be powerful. He doesn't need guns to be powerful. All he needs is one session in his office with any patient and his words. And that's it. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but if you think about it, the first episode and the finale episode involve saving someone in the fire. The finale was Suyo saving Jungun from the fire. In the first episode, it was saving Kyungtae. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the finale and my review. If there's anything I might have missed, please leave in the comments below. Again, I apologize if my reviews weren't consistent for the drama, but I still watched the entire episode. I enjoyed it. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone who, who wants action-packed comedy drama, pretty much. Anyway, if you guys like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.